and welcome back. I'm Joseph Hoffman. Today we're going to learn a fun folk song that comes from Quebec called Chumbara. Now Quebec is a province in the eastern part of Canada. Interesting thing about Quebec, it's the only province in Canada where the primary language is French. C'est bien, no? So you might expect the words of Chumbara to be French, but they're not. They actually mean nothing, just silly made up syllables. I'll play it for you. Chumbara, 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 chum, 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 chumbara, 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 chum, chum, chum. All right, let's do it one more time, and this time I invite you to sing along with me. The words are super easy, right? And as you sing, you're going to pat, clap, pat. Ready? Let's give it a try. So go ahead and get your pat, clap going, and then keep that going. Don't stop. Pat, clap. Here we go. Chumbara, 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 chum, 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 chumbara, 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 chum, chum, chum. Here's the sheet music for chumbara. Tell me what you notice. Can you find anything new in this piece that maybe we haven't seen before? Now you might have noticed these funny little brackets down here with a number one and a number two. This is called a first ending and second ending. Let me show you how this works. When you play or sing chumbara, you're going to start at the beginning, of course, and go through da 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 and then when you get to the first ending, you're allowed to go in here the first time you come to it. So you go ahead and enter door number one, or the first ending, and then you hit this repeat sign. The repeat sign, if you don't see any other repeat sign, will take you all the way back to the start. So now we're gonna do it again, da 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 da. And now you're not allowed to go into door number one again, or the first ending. Now you have to skip, boom, straight over to the second ending, and then you're done. Okay, so here's the whole path one more time. You go zoop, zoop. You're allowed to go into the first ending or door number one. Repeat back, boom. You do it again, and this time you have to skip, boing, over to the second ending, and then you're done. Now, let's check out our key signature. We've got treble clef, which is our clef, and then no sharps or flats in our key signature. And that plus the fact that we're starting on a C, ending on a C, no sharps and flats, we know then that we're in the key of C major and a 2-4 time signature, telling us we have two beats in every measure. Now let's practice the rhythm of Chumbara once. Can you say the rhythm words with me? Now before we do that, let's notice a few ties. Remember when a curved line like this connects two of the same note, that's called a tie. And it means instead of speaking or performing or singing this note, you're going to connect it to the value of this note into one continuous note. So we've got a quarter note, which equals one beat, plus one eighth note, which is an extra half beat. So we'll actually hold this for one extra half beat. It will be ti ti ta ti ti ti. Now, can you try that with me? So this ta, we're gonna just hold a little extra long. Ta ti ti ti. Ready? Try to say it with me. Go. T T ta T T T. Good. Let's keep going. T T ta T T T. Good. Can you try that whole line with me? Ready? Point and sing with me. Go. T T ta T T T T T ta T T T T T ta T T T T T T T T T T T. Then it repeats back. Ti ti ta ti 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 ta ti 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 ta ti ti ti. Where do we go? Point to it. That's right. We skip straight to ta ta ta. Rest. Now let's try to figure out the solfege for this. We know we're in the key of C, so we know that we start on do. Now, can you figure out the solfege for all the notes from here? To here, try to sing this in solfege for me. Go. The correct answer for the solfege is 
do, 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 mi, re, do. Now let's try that same pattern with our solfege hand signs. I know we haven't done these for a while, so let's review. Can you try this and sing with me? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Now let's try to step down. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Good. Now the first phrase of Chumbara is do, 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 mi, re, do. Now, can you echo that back and do the hand signs? Sing and do the hand signs. Go. Good. Now let's come back to the score. Now, can you figure out what solfege syllable this note would get? If you said so, you're correct. Here's a C and here's a G. And that interval in the key of C goes do, so. So if this is so, can you figure out the solfege from here to here? Try singing it by yourself. The correct answer is so, 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 fa, mi. Let's try that phrase in solfege hand signs. We have so, 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 fa, mi. Now you try and sing. Good. Now back to the score. Now let's come down to here. What letter name would you say for this note? It's a step above C, so we know that's a D. And in the key of C, D is re. I'm going to write re right there. Re, re, re. Can you figure out the solfege up to right here? Try it. The correct answer is re, 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 fa, mi, re, do. Now, let's do it with the hand signs. We have re, 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 fa, mi, re, do. Now, your turn. Sing and show me the hand signs. Go. Great. And then, what interval from here to here? You know this is middle C. What note is this? This one is treble C. So from middle C to treble C is one octave, or an eighth, the distance of eight notes, all the way from do to do. And then, can you tell me what's happening with all of these notes? If you said they're stepping down, you're correct. So we have all the way from do up to do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re. Repeat back to do. Now, can you start here with me? And let's sing the solfege from do. And then we'll take the repeat and stop on the first do of the song. Go. Do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Nice job. All right, let's try that one with hand signs. We have do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Now, can you try that with me and sing? Do the hand signs. Do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Good. Now, for fun, let's try it a little bit faster. Go. Do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. How about a little faster? Go. Do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. All right. Do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Ah, so fast it's a blur. Now, what would the solfege be for these final three notes when we take the second ending? If you said do, 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 you're correct. They're all do. It's just one octave up, then one octave back down to the middle C, Do. Let's try that with hand signs. Do, Do, Do. Try it with me, go. Do, Do, Do. Super. Okay, let's cover up a C major one octave scale using two tetrachords. So again, you won't need your thumbs. Go ahead and cover from middle C up to treble C. So both pinkies or finger fives are on C. 
and your other fingers are just falling into place. Now, let's try to play each note of this scale and sing the solfege. We're just going to step all the way up and down. Go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Now let's step down. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Now try the letter names. Go. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Coming down. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Good. Now, I'll demonstrate Chumbara once for you, and then I'll let you press pause and try and figure it out on your own. Here it is. Do, 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 mi, re, do, so, 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 fa, mi, re, 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 fa, mi, re, do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, 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 mi, re, do, so, 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 fa, mi, re, 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 fa, mi, re, do, do, do. Press pause and see if you can figure out how to play chumbara. Just keep your fingers in this position. You don't need to ever leave this position. And uh, try playing it. If you get stuck and need some help, you can always re rewind and watch me do it again. And uh, then when you're ready, press play and we'll try playing it together. Okay, let's try playing chumbara together. We're going to go slowly at this tempo. Chumbara, chumbara. All right, ready? I'll give you, uh, since this song's in 2 4, I'll just give you two beats. I'll count one, two, and then we'll start. Here we go. One, two. Chumbara, chumbara, chumbara. Chumbara, 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 chum, 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 chumbara, 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 chum, chum, chum. Good. Now, if that was tricky or you got stuck or kind of tripped up, you can press pause and just practice a little bit more on your own, then rewind and try it again. Or if that went really well, then let's try it again this time. I'll add some accompaniment. So I'm going to play down here, and you try to play chumbara. One, two, uh, I'll give you just two beats. Here we go. One, two. Good. And once you get really good at that, you can try with the backing track from our website, which will go even faster, more like chumbara, 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 chum, 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 chumbara, chumbara. All right. Now let me throw out a couple more challenges for you. As we've been learning about in the ladder of fifths, you can transpose uh, this kind of one octave scale to multiple different keys. For example, what if we did chumbara in the key of G? We'd put our fingers here, don't forget the F sharp, and we could be chumbara, 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 chum, 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 chum. Good. Now, can you press pause and try chumbara once in the key of G? Great. And you can also transpose to the key of D or on your own at home. I'd like you to try transposing to D, to A, to E with two sharps in D, remember three sharps in A and four sharps in E or any other key that you've already figured out on the ladder of fifths. 
Also for fun, you can even make up your own words. Remember, these are just silly, nonsense syllables. You could be like, hamburger, pineapple, hamburger, pineapple, or whatever you feel like making up. Nice work learning how to play chumbara. Happy practicing, and as les Québécois say, à la prochaine! Three parrot, elephant, and scuba. Joy! Bite, 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 bite. Polar bear, a bunny, Santa Claus, a baby, sea turtle, and T-Rex. Bite, bite.